Hi there! Welcome po ulit sa aking channel. Ngayon ang ituturo ko po sa inyo ay tungkol sa Logical Connectors Supporting Lesson sa English 8 Quarter 1 Module 1 para sa mga Grade 8 students. At dito po sa video na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo ang uh, tungkol sa Lesson 1, Scanning for Text Types and Logical Connectors. Pero ang focus po natin ay dito po sa logical connectors kasi ito po ang hindi masyadong na-discuss doon sa module ng mga grade 8 students. But before that, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Now let us start with this uh, lesson. What are connectors? Ano ba itong mga connectors? The word connectors are used to link large groups of words. Ito ay ginagamit sa pagdudugtong sa grupo ng mga salita, phrases or sentences. You can also use them to connect paragraph. Ginagamit ito pag ka ay magdudugtong ng mga paragraph para lalong maintindihan. Sentence connectors are usually placed at the beginning of a sentence. Itong mga connectors na ito, kadalasan ay nilalagay sa unahan ng sentence and maybe categorize as follows. Una ay itong mga connectors na ginagamit sa contrast. Pag sinabi natin contrast, ito yung mga uh, nagbibigay ng kabaliktaran na kahulugan o ka kabaliktaran idea. Katulad ng however, yet, despite, but, instead, on the contrary, in contrast or in contrast to Marami pa po yan. Sa addition naman, ito yung connectors na ginagamit kapag magdadagdag ka ng idea sa isang sentence o sa isang paragraph. Ang ginagamit ay moreover, furthermore, in addition, besides, what's more, on top of that, likewise, at marami pang iba. Sa cause naman, kung gusto mo magdagdag ng cause sa isang uh, paragraph o sa isang sentence, itong mga ginagamit. Ang cause ay yung dahilan. Because, since, due to, on account of, at sa purpose naman, ito yung mga in order to, so as to, so that. Sa consequence, pag sinabi natin consequence, ito yung kahihinatnan o kalalabasan sa ginagawang action. Katulad ng as a result, therefore, consequently, thus. Order naman, ito naman yung mga connectors na ginagamit kapag pagsusunod-sunodin mo yung mga idea sa tamang uh, sa tamang pagkakayos. So, for example, to start with, first, next, then. In conclusion, lastly, finally. Marami pa po yan. Sa explication naman, ito naman, mga, ito naman yung mga connect, uh, connectors na ginagamit kapag gusto mong lalong paliwanagin para lalong mas maintindihan yung idea. So, for example, above all, in short, at least, essentially, in particular, in general, more or less, at marami pang iba. Now, by the way, itong dinidiscuss natin ay tungkol lang sa mga connectors. Isa lang itong bahagi sa lesson 1 ng module 1 ng, ng uh, module ng grade 8 English. Now, these are some example connectors that show contrast. Pag sinabi natin contrast, tulad yung sinabi ko ang ina, ito yung kabaliktaran ng sinasabi o kabaliktaran idea. Example, distance learning is scheduled to start on October 5, 2020 according to DepEd Secretary Leonor Briones. However, now, notice itong gamit ng however, dito, dinidigda, dini, uh, dinudugtungan itong unang sentence ng ng salungat na idea. However, parents are somewhat doubtful to the outcome of this system. Ibig sabihin, ang however ay ginagamit kapag gusto mo magdagdag ng idea na kasalungat doon sa unang sinabi. Alright. Notice also, gumamit tayo ng kama after however. Another example. Ito ay nakalagay sa module. Annie, over six feet tall, big bone, decided that she would not go to work as a domestic 
and leave her precious babes to anyone else care. There was no possibility of being hired at the town's cotton gin or lumber mill. Alright, itong unang uh, idea ay positive siya. I mean, negative siya. Walang pag-asang siya, si Annie, ay ma-hire na employee doon sa lumber mill o pag pagawaan ng kahoy. Pero sa pangalawang ano, pangalawang sentence, but maybe there was a way to make the two factories work for her. Dito, merong chance na mabigyan siya ng trabaho. Ibig sabihin, itong first part ay negative idea. Ang pangalawa naman ay positive idea na ginamitan ng connector na bat para may dugtong. Alright. Next, examples of connectors that show addition. Dito naman, ang moreover ay ginagamit para magdagdag ng another idea. The Taj Mahal is considered to be the greatest architectural achievement in the whole range of Indo-Islamic architecture. Moreover, okay, dito na, nagdagdag na naman ang panibagong idea. Its recognized architect, uh, architectonic beauty has a rhythmic combination of solids and voids, concave and convex, and light shadow. Alright. As, uh, as I've said, ang moreover ay ginagamit kapag mag, gustong magdugtong ng additional idea na hindi kontra dito sa unang sinabi. Okay, ang ginagamit ay moreover. Next, furthermore, dito sa furthermore, nagdagdag na naman tayo ng additional idea dito sa una. Ha? Nagdagdag na naman tayo. So, dito, furthermore, ma Don't forget, meron tayong kama rito. Pagkatapos ng moreover, may kama rin dito. Hindi pwedeng gamitin ito na hindi gagamit ng kama. Alright. As I've said, ito ay additional idea dito sa unang sentence. Next. Many Filipinos are affected by the COVID-19 virus. In addition to that, okay, ito na naman. Very useful phrase ito. In addition to that, kapag ikaw ay magdadagdag ng panibagong idea na hindi kumukontra dito sa unang nabanggit. Okay. Next. Examples of connectors that show cause. Yung uh, nagpapakita ng kadahilanan. Ang cause sa Pilipino ay kadahilanan. Our example here, according to the survey, Most of the students prefer modular distance learning because most of them have no budget for internet. Ito po ay wala sa module. Sarili kong gawa ito. Ito ay para lang maipakita sa inyo ang gamit ng because of that. Uh, because of that, most schools preferred modular distance learning. Now remember, itong because of that ay ginagamit para magdagdag ng another idea na hindi sumasalungat dito sa unang nabanggit. And again, we use comma after because of that. Next, I look up the road I was going and back the way I come. Alright, ito ay galing na naman ito sa inyong module. Now, since I wasn't satisfied, I decided to step off the road and cut me a new path. Alright, by the way, itong since ay kasama pa rin ito dito sa coast. Okay. Now, ito, dito itong gamit ng since ay nagdadagdag siya ng another idea. Dahil dito sa unang kadahilanan, I look up the road I was going and back the way I come. May napansin siya rito, kaya ito na ang dinadag niya. I wasn't satisfied. So, dahil hindi siya satisfied, nagdagdag siya ng another uh, idea. I decided to step off the road and cut me a new path. Now, notice here, ang comma natin dito ay hindi pagkatapos ng sense, pero pagkatapos ng uh, ang tawag natin dito ay dependent clause or subordinate clause. By the way, itong mga 
nabagit natin na mga connectors ay kadalasan ginagamit sa mga dependent clauses at subordinate clauses. Sa Filipino, ito ay tinatawag natin na sugnay na di nakapag-iisa. At sila ay dinudugtong sa independent clause katulad nito. Itong since I wasn't satisfied, ay dependent or subordinate clause. It cannot stand alone. Nagkakaroon lamang ito ng tamang kahulugan kapag siya ay idinugtong sa independent clause like this one. I decided to step off the road and cut me a new path. Okay. Next. Examples of connectors that show purpose. Ito naman ang mga connectors na ginagamit kapag ikaw ay mag- Uh, bibigay ng purpose o sa Filipino, ang purpose ay tinatawag natin na yung uh, gustong nangyari. In order to avoid health problems during COVID-19 pandemic, comma, government authorities decided to adopt distance learning. Alright. Now, ang cause dito ay ito. In order to avoid health problems during COVID-19 pandemic. Again, ito ay tinatawag natin na dependent clause or subordinate clause na iniintroduce ng phrase na in order to. Pagkatapos, ang kasunod nito, after the comma, ito na ang ating independent clause. Government authorities decided to adopt distance learning. Alright, itong ating independent clause, siya ay Tinatawag natin na close that can stand alone kasi kapag tinanggal natin itong in order to avoid health problems during COVID-19 pandemic, siya ay buo pa rin. Pero itong una, itong part, mula dito sa in order to hanggang dito sa coma, ito ay tinatawag natin na dependent or subordinate clause. Kasi kapag wala itong pangalawang part, itong independent clause, siya ay meaningless. Wala siyang kahulugan. Alright, ito ang gamit ng in order to, or connector. Para pagbuktungin ang dependent clause sa independent clause. Next. Taj Mahal is an immense mausoleum of white marble. It was built in Agra between 1631 and 1648 by order of the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in order to remember the memory of his favorite wife. All right. Ito, dito, pwede nating isimplify ito para maintindihan natin ang gamit ng in order to. Sabi ko kanina, ito ay ginagamit para pag ipangdugtong ang dependent clause sa independent clause. So, pwede natin siyang i-rewrite ng ganito. In order to remember the memory of his favorite wife, comma, Emperor Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal in Agra. Itong first part natin, ito ang ating dependent or subordinate clause na tinatawag natin sa Filipino na sugnay na di nakapag-iisa. At itong in order to ay ginagamit para idugtong itong clause na ito dito sa independent clause. Ang tawag sa Filipino dito sa independent clause ay sugnay na nakapag-iisa. Okay. Kaya nga siya tinatawag na independent kasi siya ay nakapag-iisa. Alright. Itong first part natin, ito ang ating subordinate or dependent clause. At ito naman, pangalawang part, ang ating independent clause. Alright. Here are the examples of connectors that show consequence. Pag sinabi natin consequence, ito yung kahihinatnan o magiging munga o kalalabasan. Example here, passengers going home to the provinces were required to show travel documents before boarding ships. As a result, comma, parts were, ports were crowded with stranded passengers without proper documents. Alright. Ito na yung consequence. Ang una action ay itong passengers going home to the provinces were required to show travel documents before boarding ships. Ang naging consequence ay ito na. Ports were crowded ang naging resulta o naging bunga ay ports were crowded with stranded passengers without proper documents. Ang gamit nitong as a result ay ipagdugtong itong independent clause dito 
sa dependent clause. Dito, sa paragraph na ito, nauna ang independent clause at sinunda naman ng dependent or subordinate clause at ang nag-introduce ay itong as a result. Okay. Another example, some companies stopped their operation due to the effect of pandemic. Okay. Ito ang una action, ito ang ating cause o dahilan. Ang, nangya, ang naging consequence naman o kinahinatnan sa pag-stop ng operation ng mga kompanya ay, sabi rito, therefore, more employees became jobless. So, itong part na ito, ang naging consequence. At itong therefore ang ginamit para idugtong itong consequence dito sa unang action, sa kadahilanan. Okay. Now, here are the examples of connectors that shows order. Governments today do two things that I object to in particular. First, they encourage introspection. <coughs> Telling us that unless men examine their testicles, unless we keep a check on our cholesterol level, then we are not being responsible citizens. Ito po ay base sa inyo pong modules. Alright. Ang order natin dito, pag sinabi natin order, ay inaayos yung paragraph sa tamang pagkakaayos. Okay. Una, gumamit ng first. Pagkatapos, gumamit ng then. Ang pagkatapos, gumamit tayo ng secondly. At pagkatapos ng secondly, ay ito namang finally. Ito yung tinatawag nating order, yung tamang pagkakaayos ng mga sentences sa isang paragraph na ginamitan natin ng mga connectors. Next, examples of connectors that show explication. By the way, what is explication? Pag sinabi natin explication, it is the process of analyzing and developing an idea in order to make it more clearer. Ibig sabihin, an explication ay isang proseso na ginagawa para lalong madaling maintindihan, para lalong gawing mas malinaw pa yung idea na sinasabi sa pangungusap. Example, under the new normal, parents are expected to assess their sons and daughters in their studies. In other words, ito na yung paglilinaw, explication. Parents are the ones who will directly help their children how to answer the activities in their modules. Ito sa unang bahagi ay medyo hindi pa siya masyadong malinaw. Pag ginamitan natin ng explication, sa Filipino, itong explication, ito ay paglilinaw. Okay. So, ang ginamit natin dito yung explication na connector ay in other words. Okay. Next, more or less, parents or guardians are the ones responsible in assisting their children how to study the modules under the new normal. Ito, ana, another one ito, yung explication. Paglilinaw pa rin ito. More or less, uh, remember, palagi tayong gumagamit ng kama pagkatapos ng connector. Okay, more or less, parents or guardians are the ones responsible in assisting their children how to study the modules under the new normal. Dito, lalong pinalinaw pa itong uh, unang sinabi dahil dito sa paggamit nito. Okay. Now, thank you very much for watching. Watch out for weekly supporting videos for lessons in grade English 7, English 8, English 9, and English 10. Mag-upload po ako ng mga video na nagpapaliwanag sa mga bahagi ng lesson na hindi masyadong naipaliwanag sa mga modules. Okay. Thank you very much again. See you in my next video.